água é vida, é tudo. El agua es la vida. Do es algo muy lindo. Happiness. I call it life juice. Peace. We have a saying locally that wherever the water is good, the woman will be beautiful. A lot of times when we're looking at other planets and asking the question if life could be habitable there, uh, we're usually looking for evidence of water there. I relate to those to those testimonies. You know, one gentleman says water is everything, another says water is life. And uh, in, in my world, um, there is not life where there is not water. Much of this area is a desert, and without water or without engineering means or scientific means to obtain more water or to develop water sources, these cities wouldn't exist. In my professional experience, the, the societal relationship with water has evolved quite a bit. Because when we think 20, 30, 40 years ago, there was far more agriculture in some of the southwestern communities. And those communities, as they grow, now convert that same water use into use for urban use. Agriculture, power generation, population. Which, of course, they're all connected. The reality in, in the part of the country that I live in is this population has been growing for many years. It's expected to continue growing. The water resources aren't growing. Human body is made from 70% water. Most people think that it just comes from the tap when you turn the knob, when in fact, that tap represents millions of dollars worth of infrastructure projects and development projects to get that water there, make it safe, and, and uh, make it available for your use. But because we've done such a good job making it available, people take it for granted. We're going to be drinking a lot more seawater. <laughs> well, you might think water flows downhill, right? But water really flows towards money. And the more people there are, the more economic resources there are to develop additional water resources. And for an individual to develop a desalination plant, let's say, it's, it's it, impossible. You know, the economic resources are impossible. But when you have two million water users and each of them can pay one more nickel a month or one more dollar a month, you can now build a desalination plant and conserve some of the freshwater resources that are naturally occurring.